let's be honest, The Sims 4 High School Years doesn't have many students turning up to classes every single day, which can really suck and really takes away from the realistic feeling of a high school. I've been on the hunt for a couple of weeks now and I've finally found some mods that allow you to change how many students can show up. And let me tell you, these mods are game changing. They are absolutely beautiful and I'm ready to showcase them to you in this tutorial today. This video is gonna walk you through step-by-step step the mods that you need and how to use them. So let's get into it. The first mod that you're gonna need is a mod by Rex Sims Corner titled Choose High School Classmates. It's a very simple mod. All it allows you to do is choose your classmates. This website will be linked in the description along with any other links that you need. Make sure you read through the full website in the requirements, the strict version, the languages available, the change log and things like that, as this video is being recorded in August, 2022, and there may be a new version that may conflict with future updates. And the other mod that you need is by Kasua's Corner on Patreon. This mod is a two-part mod titled More Students at High School and Second cafeteria vendor. You don't have to download the second cafeteria vendor mod if you don't choose to. You can download the more students just by itself if you choose. With Kasua's mod, they've provided several options. 18 students, 24 students, or 40 students. You're able to download any of these packages and use them and have that many students in your game. For the package that is 24 students, you'll have 12 per class. 18 students will have 9 per class. And 40 students, of course, will allow 20 per class. In this video, I'm using the 40 students mod, which allows 20 per class. One important thing to note here as well with this mod is that if you do not use MC Command Center, make sure you also download the script that Kasua has included to increase the number of sims allowed in zone. I'm going to explain this a little bit further in game for those of you that use MC Command Center. As with any of your mods for The Sims 4, unzip and extract the files that the creator gives you. Head to your documents directory, this electronic arts and The Sims 4, and head to your mods directory and throw the mods in that folder. With mods such as these, you don't want to be putting them in subfolders because they quite often are script mods and script mods don't work within subfolders. As I mentioned, if you're an MC Command Center user, you do not require the script provided by Kasua. I'm going to show you here how to increase the maximum sims allowed in zone with MC Command Center. In your game, click on any computer like you normally would to navigate to MC Command Center settings. In here, go down to population, other settings, and maximum sims in zone. This default value is set to 20 by EA's default without any mods. This number allows how many sims are allowed on the one lot at any given time. 20 will mean only 20 sims maximum will be allowed on a lot at one time. I've got mine set to 100 as I've been playing with this mod regularly. If you're running a low specification computer that doesn't have necessarily the best parts, I don't recommend running this on 100. You're most likely, if you're running a lower spec computer, gonna be using the 18 students mod. I recommend probably leaving this on 40 or thereabouts to just increase and allow that flexibility for a couple more students. Once you change this figure, this will require a game restart. I'm not going to have to restart here as I've already changed the figure. So once you've restarted your game, head over to your mailbox. One really important thing here is to ensure you have testing cheats on. Click on the mailbox that you have on your lot and you should have this option here titled choose high school classmates. Head into the option and you'll have the options of choose high school classmates, football member, esport member, chess member, cheer member, and high school meaning. Now it is important to note with this mod in order for it to work, if you select one category of these, you must select at least one sim for every other category. If you only select a sim for cheer member and nothing else, the mod is not going to work correctly as intended. So something I like to do first is I like to do the extracurricular activities. Just that way I know what sims are and are not. So we're going to choose cheer member. Now I'm going to choose the cheer member as the default cheer member that comes with high school years, which is Sydney Price. You'll scroll down and this should have a list of every single available teenage townie in the world around you. So I'm going to click on Sydney. Now for any sim in this choose high school classmates option that you choose as a sim for the extracurricular activities, if they are not already pre-registered as in that extracurricular activity like Sydney is for cheerleading, you will need to load up their household just for a moment, just for it to register that they are actually in that activity. For chess as well, it is Molly Prescott from high school years and esports is Savannah Price. Football, however, does not have a default member. So here you're going to have to go and select somebody that isn't necessarily already in football. So for just the purposes of this video, I'm going to pick Teenage Mountain. Malcolm Landgrab. So because I've chosen Malcolm Landgrab, I'm going to head over to Manage Worlds. Let's go to Manage Worlds. I'm going to navigate over to Malcolm Landgrab's household in Oasis Springs, and I'm going to click play and just load him up. So here we are at the Landgrab household. We're currently playing as Jeffrey. If we navigate over to Malcolm and head to the jobs category, you'll notice he's a high school C student. And then if you scroll down, 
you'll see that he's a football team fresh recruit at level one in the extracurricular activity, meaning that this mod has worked as intended. So now we can go back to manage worlds. Once we're in manage worlds, we can go up to manage households and just simply tick them as unplayed as normal. And then you can head back to the household you were previously playing. So now that this is done and we've selected a sim for every category, let's head over and have a look at remove classmates just to ensure that it's worked. All four sims that you've added to these categories should now show up in the remove classmates options if the mod is working correctly. And here they are. As well, you're gonna choose the high school meanie as well for your world. Wolfgang shows up funnily enough for every single world because he is a sim that is teenage with the mean trait. In order to show up as the high school meanie, your sim needs to have the mean trait to show up in this category. So we're gonna pick Wolfgang. Now, once you've done that, head back in there and choose high school classmates finally. This, as I said, is gonna show you every single available teenager in the world. So we're just gonna select every single sim. There is a limit of a certain number of sims you'll need to play test around what this limit is. My limit is currently 20. This is the guaranteed students that will show up every single day. If you wanna save space, you don't necessarily have to select the sims that you have selected for esports activities as they'll show up by default. So now I've got three extra spaces because of that. So let's select Ash, Kiyoshi, and Kaori to show up. And then if you go back into remove classmates, there's a full list of people here, including your esports and your football teammates. So now if we skip ahead to our high school day, we should hopefully with a bit of luck be able to have tons of students really hope it worked that would be embarrassing if it didn't and here we are loaded into copperdale high with an abundance of students there is significantly more students here already than there was previously if we don't play with this mod now i could sit here and count them all up and they probably total to 40 i'm assuming they have because i've counted them up before and they total to 40. if you're using the 18 version this will total up to 18 the 24 version will total up to 24. it's really great to see because this makes a realistic looking high school that is jam-packed full of students now one word of caution is that it does get very laggy and sims when you tell them to do things don't necessarily always do them especially if you're using 40. do i recommend using 40 no not necessarily but I'm playing a specific save that I wanted it for. As you see, it kind of looks a lot more like a real high school morning with every student piling into their classrooms and ah, the dreaded days of high school. I don't miss, but kind of do at the same time. So if we take a look at the cafeteria now, this is early morning before the first class. It's literally packed with students. This is why the second cafeteria vendor does come in very much so handy if you uh, don't find any luck of being able to get food at lunch times with tons of students. So now all the students are piling into their class and it's quite an interesting sight when you see how many students actually pile in. So as you can see here, all the nine desks that come pre-made with the high school have been filled. Any student that is over this, because I'm using the 40 and it's 20 per class, there'll be 11 extra students. They will all sit on the floor or stand up. So it's important if you're using either the 24 or 40 version of the mod that you add extra desks to allow and accommodate for either 12 students per class or 20 per class. If we go over and have a look at the other class, class two, the class two is the same where they've got tons of students on the floor and all desks are currently filled. This is going to be the same for every single day that you now play using this mod. One important thing to note is that if you change households to play from another perspective while you're using this mod and you still want your other sim to show up you're gonna need to add that sim to your classmates on that other household's perspective in order for them to show up but that about wraps up this tutorial of these two mods by rex sims corner and kasua i hope you enjoyed it and you found it useful and you got some brand new mods that work for your game and make the high school process just so much more realistic because i know how happy it made me thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it. if you enjoyed this video give it a like and consider subscribing and let me know if you want me to do more of these kinds of videos where i walk you through mod tutorials or mod recommendations or anything like that let me know if you found it useful as well let me know in the comments i'd love to know thank you so much for watching and until next time bye bye